Hey YouTube, this is KFlynn300 here with another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get Zombie Mod Pack 1.2.5 for the Mac and or PC. Uh, so click on the link in the description and you'll bring up the Minecraft forum. This is for 1.2.5, you'll see this. Just scroll down and you'll see all the different mods that you can do. <coughs> and the new features. So. The current download is right here. Click that, and we get the file right there. Let me minimize that. Okay, so here is our file. I'm going to double click it and make a folder, and I'm going to bring the folder to the desktop. Okay, so in our micro, in our uh, folder, we have classes and config. That's all you need. You don't need any of this stuff. So I'm just going to leave that there. We need to open a new finder window. And right there. Go make sure you're on whatever you call your system. It should, there should be a little house. And then go to library, application support, and Minecraft. So <clears throat> once in your Minecraft, you'll have your bin and all your other things. Uh, saves, stats, texture packs. You want to go into your bin and you'll see this minecraft.jar file. Um, some people can just go to open with and then archive utility. I'm going to show you how to do it if you don't have it. If you have a Windows, you just use WinRAR and open up all the files and uh, put those files into a new folder called minecraft.jar and replace that. Okay, so first thing we're going to have to do for all those people that don't have a Windows or Archive Utility do make it a minecraft.zip and press use.zip exit out of that now we have minecraft.zip double click it and you'll get a folder so delete uh, the first minecraft.zip and rename this minecraft folder minecraft.jar okay and add so now we have minecraft.jar folder. Alright, once you're in the folder, you'll see all these classes. Scroll over to the right and click kind, because it's easier to find uh, this meta-inf folder. And delete that, it just keeps you from doing mods, so you're not deleting anything important. So, now go to your other folder that you just downloaded. Go to classes, you'll see all these classes. And I'm going to highlight all of them, and I'm just going to drag them over and you're going to want to replace all of those okay so now that we have all of our classes in place now we need to use these config files so I'm gonna go into uh, I'm gonna make a folder and it's gonna say mods if you don't already have one go into that folder and you're gonna create another folder that just says zombie zombie does not have an eye I repeat, does not have an eye. That could be where people are having problems. So, when in that uh, zombie folder, we are going to put all of these. And if you've had Minecraft before, I mean not Minecraft, the, the zombie pack before, then uh, you have the config file and you know what to do. Um, if you haven't done it before, uh, you just go into this config.txt file and you'll get all this. And you know, maximize this. You'll get all this stuff. And I'm going to show you how to activate a mod. I'm just going to find a uh, fly mod because that's the most popular mod. Here it is. And uh, there's these three pound signs. And the third one down for every mod that you want to activate, delete the pound sign and make sure that this says yes. And then you can go through and see what uh, each uh, key does to activate this mod, how fast and how slow you'll go and what it says when the mod is activated so um, you know how to activate it I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna save that because I have an old minecraft which should if I'm right have a config.txt that I've already done so I'm just gonna copy that and paste it into this folder because it's the same config.txt you can reuse it in case you guys have been doing it over and over again, that would suck. So that's a handy trick. 
So we have all that done and you can co come back out and you can close it if you want to. I'm just going to minimize it. Uh, I'm going to bring up Minecraft. Okay. And I'm just going to demonstrate that uh, how how it works. So, um, here. Okay. So we are in my world, and see the there's num there's numbers up here. This is telling you your exact location. Uh, that's one of the mods. I think it's the info mod. Uh, if I press F, I fly, and N is no clip, so I can pass right through stuff. Um, what else is there? Uh, you can do B for builder, and then lay down spaces. And in those spaces, you can press like Z, which will make it whatever is in your hand. And you can copy stuff that way too. Um, I'm going to press B and put Builder off. Alright, now something that's pretty, like, pretty nice to have. Wait a second. I'm going to... Uh, where is the difficulty? There it is. Okay, one of the nice things that you can do with this mod pack is when you're in a dark room, you can press cheater, you can put cheater on, and then whatever you use to highlight, and it will highlight everything. And it's really, really helpful. Um, when you're just like playing around on a server, whatever your world is, it's nice to be in a creative mode. Um, what else? There are a lot of mods there. There's, there's like sun mods and stuff where you can control the sun. Uh, cart mods where it constantly pushes you without being on, uh, the red, uh, the red movement pieces or whatever. So yeah, um... That's the zombie mod pack. It's really useful and it's really nice to have. Uh, subscribe and like. I hope you like the video.